so today I'm going to talk about a very small subsegment of Latin American music. Uh, I'm going to be talking about dances that are derived from the habanera rhythm. Uh, the habanera rhythm, uh, as you will hear in, in a few minutes, it's a rhythm that or basically served as the origin for many, many different genres in Latin America and also the world. First of all, I want to say <clears throat> the correct pronunciation for habanera is the way I'm saying it right now, habanera. I hear in the United States, it's often called habanera or habanera. Um, it's often creating a ñ sound, which is not how it sounds in Spanish. I think that's a deformation of actually the French translation, which is habanera. So people tend to use that ñ sound. So the correct way is habanera. Okay. So, first of all, I want to say uh, the habanera rhythm originated uh, by a mixture of European and African elements uh, in Haiti in the 1700s. Uh, Haiti is an island that's uh, actually a country that's on an island next to Cuba. It moved the, the genre moved very quickly to Cuba. Uh, Havana is the main city in Cuba. And that's why it's called the habanera. Um, it's actually uh, sometimes called the contradanza habanera. Um, and it features a typical dotted or syncopated ostinato rhythms, and you're going to see that rhythm in just a minute. It's usually written in 2-4. It attracted the attention uh, of uh, in the 1800s of many European composers. Uh, many Spanish composers used it. Uh, there's countless habaneras by Albéniz, for, for example, and other composers. The famous tango by Albéniz is actually an habanera, not, not a real tango. And then also some French composers used it, Bizet, Ravel, Debussy. If you think of the second movement of Estamp, uh, La Soirée dans Granade, there's actually a, a, an habanera. Uh, you will hear today that the habanera moved beyond Latin America and Spain uh, to influence other countries. For example, in Southeast Asia, I recently uh, heard music by Filipino composers that are typically, uh, they sound very uh, habanera-like. And I think it's basically the influence of, of this genre through Spain. Uh, but there are other countries that use this rhythm as well. Uh, so this is a map. Um, the, Cuba is the island that's uh, circled there. Um, and uh, as I said, it originated in that region. Uh, Haiti is uh, on the island that's next uh, to the right of Cuba. Um, this was the route for many, many Latin American salon dances. Uh, there are many composers in Latin America in the late 1800s and 1900s who write and publish sheet music that is now currently in the public domain. So all of this music is very easy to get on IMSOP and other sites online. I have to clarify again that there are other genres of salon music in Latin America derived from other rhythms, European rhythms like waltzes and mazurkas, for example. So the habanera is a small subset, but very influential. These are some of the genres that you may have heard of. Uh, these are genres that were derived, or musicologists think, that were derived from the habanera rhythms. Uh, so you have danza, danzón, the tango is probably very well known, milonga. Even in Brazil, people suspect that this rhythm, you know, it's hard to tell whether it came from Cuba or maybe it developed also in Brazil. You have machiches, you have choros that, that use this kind of uh, syncopated or dotted rhythms. And you have uh, genres like the cumbia, and the reggaeton uh, that are very popular nowadays. Uh, Shakira has reggaetons, uh, you know, Bad Bunny has reggaetons. Uh, so there's many, many of these popular Latin uh, artists that use this basic rhythm. So this is the rhythm. The middle line is your typical accompaniment. Pa -pam -pam -pam. Thumb, thumb, thumb. So it, it, you know, it, it varies in tempo. I want to also point out the top line here. The top line has triplets. Those triplets are great because it actually is an opportunity for teaching cross rhythms to students. So these are great uh, pedagogical pieces. There are variations of those rhythms. The one on the left on the top is the typical tango, 1900s uh, tango rhythm. Uh, the bottom is the milonga rhythm. And then on the right, there's a variation that's very popular. Uh, Piazzolla uses that a lot. Uh, you hear a lot of music in Brazil that uses this as well. <clears throat> 